feel about the party? Yeah, it's awesome. Thank you for inviting us. Yeah, you're welcome anytime. And also we have a, another party. We're coming very soon. Do you, do you enjoy it? Anyone the next time? It's actually. Do you enjoy the party? Hi, Sandra. Hi, Annie. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. How do you enjoy the party? Yes. How's the party? Good. You enjoy it? Yes. Enjoy the play around? Yes. When you, what I don't say about you. Oh, yeah. Hey, you want to look like birdies? Yeah. You like birdies? <laughs> Hi Robin. Hi. How are you? Good. You enjoying the party? Yeah, it's awesome. You like it? I do. Yes. I'm Tony. Hi. Hi Mola. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good. Good too. You, <laughs> you, you talk about the party. What do you want to say about it's the party? It's so fun. It is fun. Nothing's kind of dangerous though. Which one? The moon down. Oh man. Don't go inside. <laughs> what about you, sir? Oh, let me, let me, let me finish the chicken. <laughs> and don't hang on the party, hang on the party. Ah, 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 hang on Enjoy it? Yeah! Uh -huh. Yeah! 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 Yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah. Because when the plane touched, it was about to touch down. Yeah. Only because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're taking Yes? Like finding guys for the dining? <laughs> kind of funny. Oh, funny. Let me take our sweeties over here. Just All right. Oh, hi. Hi. You enjoying the party? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? We just start. We have more coming. Jensi, say hello. I did. I said for the most part. Hi, how are you, Miracle? This up again, right? You stay with him. You like it? Yeah, she likes it, but it's a lot of people, so we're going to get another one for her. Okay, another one for her. Okay, good. So just the, really, the thing that I want to share from my heart is my story um, and just how I came to know the Lord. Um, and so for me, my story really started uh, when I was young. Uh, when I was eight years old, I came to church for the first time. And it was really like a church like this. Um, and at the time, uh, my family uh, wasn't doing so. I was the very first person at the age of eight uh, in my family that had accepted Jesus. And so my dad has this crazy thought about calling that pastor. He calls him uh, on the phone. That pastor comes over. Uh, and he leads my dad to the Lord. Now here's, here's the beautiful thing. Now today I'm a pastor. I've dedicated my life to serving God. My dad is a pastor. He's dedicated his life to following Jesus. Uh, and my, my sister married a pastor. right? And so they are all about following Jesus. And the one thing I found out is this. That you can pursue all the things that this world has, but you'll never find peace. You'll never find joy until you find it in Jesus. Uh, and, and that's what my story is all about. And that's what I think all of our stories is about. In the Bible, uh, there's a story about this guy named Nicodemus. 
Uh, and Nicodemus wasn't like me. Uh, in fact, it, it, if you looked at Nicodemus on the outside, it would look like he had everything together. And maybe you're not like me. Maybe you didn't come from a messed up home. Uh, maybe you have all your stuff together and your family's all good. That's fine. Uh, and Nicodemus was kind of like that. He comes up to Jesus uh, and he asks, starts asking Jesus these questions because he has this, this weird thought in his head that, that all the things that he's doing is not enough. And Jesus tells him this profound statement. He says, Nicodemus, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him, whoever believes in him. Now I just want to qualify whoever. Whoever includes an eight-year-old kid coming from an alcoholic dad, coming from an abusive family. Whoever includes a 95-year-old man who's got it all together, who's at the end of his life, whoever includes uh, you guys, whoever includes you guys, whoever includes all of us. And Jesus says this, whoever believes, whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And that's the simple hope that I offer you today, that Jesus offers all of us today, that if we simply give our heart to Jesus, Man, that we will experience eternal life, a new life, a new life that is found in Him. That we will have peace and joy like none other. And that's what that's what I want to pray for you about. So, uh, if if that's you, and I wasn't planning on doing this, but if that's you, and you're saying, "Hey, I would just like someone to pray for me or pray with me about that decision," if if you would just want to throw a hand up in the air, and then I will, I'll know to connect with you at the end of this, or one of the pastors can connect with you. If that's you, just anyone. Awesome, and that's great to see too, uh, that, that so many of you guys have already believed in Jesus. Uh, but I do want to introduce Pastor Pastor Lucas here. Uh, Pastor Luke, uh, you would just want to kind of explain the service times and, and all that. Uh, but this is my dad, Pastor Coach Apo, you call him Coach. Uh, but if you want to connect with either one of those guys, uh, it would be great uh, to hear more about Jesus and hear more really about how he can help you and save you. All right? Thank you, Samson, for sharing your life. Praise the Lord. He was sharing about his life and his dad's life. It's, there is nothing different. You know, it's, uh, I can relate my life also to that. You know, it's not, I was not that strict, but I was also, I didn't have any peace in my life also. But Christ changed my life when I was 25. I gave my life to the Lord. You know, Lord, the peace that surpasses all understanding from the, according to the Bible. It came to my life also. So that's why this uh, uh, pastor coach, as he was coming here, we together, you know, we are right now on a fast of 40 days. This is the 26th day we are fasting and praying for the city, this nation, our neighborhood. That's why we, have, you know, he was encouraging us to do a block party to bring all of you here. I know that as we were talking to you, some of you are going through real bad situation in your life, but there is somebody who can introduce. As Samson said, you know, whenever he gave his life to the Lord, the peace of the Lord came to his life. Let everybody see the Indian glory and his hallelujah. American Indian heritage, hallelujah. See, any of you guys want the Indian dress? She's very upset she doesn't have one. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm <laughs> And he said about the Jesus Christ. One thing, let me add one, one more thing in your life, okay? Everybody in need in the life, we need Jesus Christ. Without Jesus, we all can perish. We don't want to perish in our life. Hallelujah. We need Jesus. I accept one time, 1996, October 17th, with one glass of water, Lord changed my life. Pastor, give me one glass of water and pray it and give me the water and they change my life. Now I'm ministering all over the world. I'm going all over the world to minister to people. See, my son and my daughter-in-law, my son-in-law is a pastor and my, and my Lord told me to come over here and minister with him. Now I am here. If anybody wants to join with us anytime, come over here. We have a Sunday morning service. 
the ministry of service and these days we have morning service and evening service every day we have sharing the word of God and especially I ask the Lord one thing the, the everybody pray for the seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you and I ask Lord where is the kingdom I can seek hallelujah when I ask the Lord Lord serve me I will teach you where is the kingdom and he teaches me about the kingdom of God and I teach about the kingdom of God and then there's a power of the Lord is coming out. And that power with the healing and deliverance I saw in my life. So seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. May God bless you all. Thank you for coming and may I think you all are enjoy the party. Is that right? Hallelujah. <laughs> We thank you for this wonderful time. Thank you for bringing the community together in your presence. Lord, thank you for helping us to share the deliverance which we enjoyed through your son, Jesus Christ. I mean, thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you all. Thank you. So on June 22nd, we had an outreach at our church. It was our very first one, but more people came than we expected. We invited the surrounding neighborhood and went door to door inviting them. We had a lot of fun decorating and preparing for it. A lot of people came for the outreach and it was... Um, we also had a moon bounce and so like a lot of the kids from the neighborhood came out. We passed out uh, Bibles and tracts and gave out goodie bags to all the kids. So we had Pastor Samson give his personal message along with... Uh, we had two music musicians, so that turned out pretty good. Since the previous outreach was such a success, we're planning on having another one on July 27th and everybody is welcome.